By the latter half of the 19th century, Mumbai had become one of the largest seaports on the Arabian Sea, drawing migrants from across the subcontinent and the ocean. All kinds of people arrived with hopes of making their fortune, and they brought their beloved culinary traditions with them. The city developed a rich heritage of street food as a result, and that's where Chef Sheldon Raju drew his inspiration for this week's menu. Welcome to our kitchen today. It all ties up with our theme, and that's Mumbai. And if you ever go to Mumbai, there's nothing better than the street food. One of the dishes I'm gonna to talk to you today is Jalmuri, which is a type of uh, chaat, if you could look at it. There's many different varieties of chaats in India, but essentially, Jalmuri, if you translate it, speaks, means literally the heart. And when traveling in India, this is definitely something that's grasped hold of me and literally taken me a long, long journey. All right, I'm gonna start cutting the tomatoes. We're just gonna cut them different shapes and sizes and get them into our bowl. It just adds more variety. I'm gonna get some coriander. Coriander just adds a beautiful freshness into this dish. Some chilies. I like the green chilies for the heat. Quite a bit in here. Oh, I can already smell those fragrance working together. And some serve with that corn in there. Just a little bit now. Peanuts that have been slightly roasted and salted. A little bit of my mum's famous masala. Some chaat masala. Shallots, about two tablespoons in there. And then about a tablespoon of desiccated coconut. A little splash of some apple cider vinegar. The most important bit will be mixing in the chutneys. You don't want it to get too wet and you don't want to add your rice in now because you kind of want that rice to remain white and have all that beautiful color and it's just going to enhance your dish. This is the date and tamarind sauce. Very important, the brown sauce. I love mustard seed oil just because it just gives that oomph that you need. Time to mix them up. You can see the colors already working. Oh, this is so quick, so simple, so easy. Next step will be in for my rice. Quite a bit in there. A little bit of lime juice. And that's just gonna add more freshness. Give it a nice little toss. Fantastic. Now we're ready to serve, that easy. Now, in India, very traditional. This is why I said why it litters the streets of India. Because they serve them in these little like cool paper cups. And it's great, you can pot it around, no mess, no dishes. Life is great. Put him up. Just gonna steal a couple pinches here of my coriander. A little more of the coconut. A little bit more of my sieve. Fit for anybody on the streets of India. Mmm. Taking me back already. Enough heating. Kaubrai is getting ready here. And the next one's gonna be a little hit for you guys as well. I started my fire a little bit early, but uh, it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more charcoal. This is all about great Indian food. It's all cooked outside on charcoal, on the streets, and some of the best food I've eaten was literally sent from over across the road into my plate. Let's get into the romales uh, while this fire is heating up. Coals are on the go. I'm gonna get cracking on my romali rotis. Romali literally translate to handkerchief. It's so thin that it's probably the thinnest bread in the world into this bowl here. I'm just gonna go one and a half cups of atta flour in there. And I'm just gonna mix a cup of cake flour into that. In that, it's gonna go a pinch of salt, about two to three tablespoons of ghee. And we're gonna gently make a soft dough using just a little bit of water. I'm just gonna work my ghee and rub it into the flour so it's nicely evenly spread. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my flour onto my board and then I'm gonna slowly start working it onto the board now. Okay, let's get into this. Ugh, really start to work it. The more you work it, the more you develop the gluten. And gluten is something that helps keep flour together. So that's gonna be great. Ah, oh, you can see the dough just started to pull off my hands. That means it's almost ready. I'm just gonna pop him aside to rest now. Let's bowl for 20 minutes. Cover him with my damn cloth quickly. I'm just gonna roll my romali now into a long cylindrical roll and that's just gonna help me get even portion sizes. Then just using a sharp knife, cut equal sizes. Okay, ready to roll. Let's pop these down there. We're gonna flour our board quite a bit now, so it doesn't stick. Roll these into little balls. You wanna work quickly here. You don't want them to dry out in the air. All sorted. Just a little flour. Make sure the flour is nicely spread on top of both sides of the roti. 
You don't want it to be sticking to your board. Then you get a nice little heavy pan, and this is where the work starts. I'm also trying to work the edges a bit more, so I can get that nice and thin, and leave the center quite, quite thickish, because this will help me in my next step. Really quickly, my, my pan is nice and warm. I just got a bit of salt water here, and I'm gonna pour it on this hot pan, and that's basically gonna stop it from sticking. So, nice and warm. Make sure you get all the corners, and then just stick them back on there. Just gonna carefully lift it off my board, not trying to tear any pieces. Paper thin, and then gently spread them across your pan. You're just gonna keep an eye here, it's gonna go really quick. And you're just gonna watch for those little bubbles, give them a little flip. Beautiful, oh, I love that. Oh, fantastic. We'll keep him aside. Romales are done, fantastic. I'm just gonna do a quick little clean down, get ready on my sea kebabs, and just pop in onto my fire and see how that's going. Oh. Ah. So really quickly, I just wanna pop my grill on while the flame is nice and higher, just so I can get it cleaning for a bit. We're almost looking good to start our seek kebabs. I'm gonna get my onions and then I'm gonna give them a nice little quick grate here. Just on the big side, when you finish grating them, you just wanna pull all your onions together and give it a good squeeze. Get all of that juices coming out. This essentially, this moisture, you don't want this in your kebab because it's gonna force your kebab not to stick together. That goes into my mint. I'm gonna take a little bit of my papaya, just about two tablespoons, and that goes into there. Chili goes in then. A little bit of ginger, some garlic, and this is where the magic really starts to happen. So in goes a nice little handful of my mum's masala. I love a bit of chaat masala. It just adds that little depth and that little zing that I always look for. And then my, my famous Moroccan spice. And then just obviously a little seasoning with some of that black salt from Pakistan. And we're ready to mix. All right, nicely mixed through. We're gonna separate them. Because we've got two skewers, we're gonna just basically do two nice big balls, but we're gonna get them into smaller balls so we can actually work them. These are done, I got my skewers here, and then I'm just gonna lightly grease them. So just a little bit of ghee, you could use spray and cook if you want, and this is just gonna very simply just help me with my process of taking them off. Now down the center. And work it nice and even, trying to press it onto your metal skewer. In goes my second ball. Oh, these are looking great. They smell fantastic. The spices are just penetrating. Nice and even. I'm just gonna pop that here, and we're going to the back. Oh, heat seems ready. Always check with the back of your hand as well. A little chef tip there. I just got a little bit of ghee, and this is just gonna add to that smokiness. Okay, my kebab's got great color on, and it's almost done. I'm just gonna pop them out here, and just give them a bit of a rest. I'm gonna slide these on down onto our Romali rotis. Oh, beautiful. In there, a little bit of coriander. And then some of that beautiful coriander sauce that I got. And then start to get a tight little wrap here. Oh, oh it smells so great. So let's just pop this down quickly. Finish off our plating, couple segments of lime. And then just a little extra sauce on the side in case anybody wants to dip. I know always I love to dip. A couple sprigs of uh, coriander just to add some garnish over there. And that's it, I'm done. We're about to finish off our Mumbai street feast with a very simple and easy to make dessert. And I strongly suggest you try this. In South Africa, we know it as poli. In India, they call it karanji. And this takes me back to being back on the streets, drinking fresh masala chai tea, and just enjoying one of these freshly fried snacks. So let's get into it very simply. Into our cake flour, I'm just gonna add in some semolina, a pinch of salt, and then about a tablespoon of ghee. And I'm gonna slowly bring that together with a touch of cold water. Again, you want a really simple, soft dough. Just slowly work in that ghee before you add in some more water, just evenly rubbing it with your fingers. Oh, and the dough is slowly forming. I'm gonna pop it one side into rest, 
into the fridge for about 10 minutes. Okay, that's in the fridge. The reason I'm cooling it down is just so I get a crispy pastry when I fry it. The cooler it is, I, I normally notice the better it is for it. We've got half a cup of desiccated coconut here for our filling. I'm just gonna chuck them into my bowl. About half a cup of green apples as well. I just diced that really quickly. And yeah, a tablespoon and a half of icing sugar. We've got some sultanas that are going in. About two tablespoons of some almonds. Then about a tablespoon of poppy seeds. You're just gonna give it a nice little toss together. Oh, and the color is already just like sticking out. A little pinch, some cardamom. Amazing, beautiful, colorful filling. I'm just gonna quickly check how my pastry is doing. We'll come back, we'll roll them, cut them, stuff them, and get them frying. We're back with my dough. I've just rolled them into small little equal sized balls. Before we start there, let's just do a, a little flour on our board. Keep going. We're gonna cut our dough here. Oh, it's a nice even circle so we can get beautiful, even, poorly, or currently. Get some of that filling in there. And then fold it in half. I'm just gonna use a little water here. Gently squeeze the sides together. And we're just gonna gently fold it in to get our little pleats. And gently drop your heat down to a low. Oh, these are almost done, excellent. Into some paper towel. Oh, the aromas. Just taking me back to India. And then my little plate that I'm gonna be serving. And a final little dust of some icing sugar. All that's left to do is have a little bite. Mmm, wow, delicious. Thank you for spending the afternoon with me. It's been fabulous taking you on a journey through Mumbai street foods. I hope you try some, be brave enough to toss your Romalis up in the air. But for me, it's been just a pleasure to share some of my fondest memories of traveling in a city that won my heart. If you ever get a chance, put it high on your to-do list.